The 1968 Pontiac Firebird is a classic muscle car icon, renowned for its sleek design, powerful performance and distinctive split grille. With its muscular stance and potent engine options, the Firebird symbolised the best in American automotive design. So let's have a look at what made this beast such a renowned classic. The 1968 Pontiac Firebird represents a significant chapter in the history of American muscle cars, embodying the era's spirit of performance, innovation and style. This car was Pontiac's response to the rapidly growing muscle car market dominated by the Ford Mustang and Chevrolet Camaro. Launched in 1967, the Firebird quickly established itself as a formidable competitor offering a unique blend of performance and style that appealed to a wide range of consumers. The 1968 model year in particular marked a period of refinement and enhancement, solidifying the Firebird's reputation. Pontiac offered various engine options and performance packages, allowing buyers to customise their Firebird to their preferences. This flexibility made the Firebird accessible to everyday drivers seeking a reliable and stylish vehicle and enthusiasts looking for high performance thrills. And for this reason, the market reception of the 1968 Firebird was overwhelmingly positive. When it was first launched, it came with a base price of approximately $2,781 for the hardtop version and $2,996 for the convertible. These prices reflected a competitive positioning in the market against rivals like the Ford Mustang and Chevrolet Camaro. For performance packages like the Ram Air 2 package, the price bumped up a little bit with an extra $631.12, making it a significant investment for those seeking top-tier performance. Another notable performance package was the Firebird 400, which included a 400 cubic inch V8 engine producing 330 horsepower. The 400HO package added $350.72 to the base price, while the standard 400 package cost $273.83. So let's have a look at the design and see what Pontiac had to offer for this price. The 1968 Pontiac Firebird showcases a distinct and aggressive exterior design that helped it stand out in the competitive muscle car market. The front end is characterised by a split grille with two integrated headlights on each side, a hallmark of Pontiac's design language. The sleek, elongated hood and muscular fenders gave the Firebird a powerful stance. The absence of vent windows, replaced by a single piece of glass, provided a cleaner look and improved aerodynamics. The rear end featured slit taillights inspired by the 1966 to 1967 Pontiac GTO and Grand Prix. The taillights were divided into two horizontal sections with a chrome trim separating them. It also had a distinct polyurethane rear bumper, which was designed to meet safety standards with a smooth curved shape that blends into the overall rear design. The Firebird was available in two main body styles, coupe and convertible. The coupe, with its hardtop roof, offered a more rigid structure and sleek silhouette, while the convertible provided an open-air driving experience that was highly sought after. Both body styles shared the same dimensions, with a length of 188.8 inches, a width of 73.6 inches, and a wheelbase of 108 inches. The curb weight varied depending on the engine and options, but generally ranged from 3,200 to 3,400 pounds. Pontiac offered a wide array of colour options for the 1968 Firebird, allowing buyers to personalise their vehicles to their tastes. Popular colours included Vodoro Green, Solar Red and Aleutian Blue, among others. The vibrant hues were complemented by optional stripe packages and other exterior trim options, enhancing the car's visual appeal. Inside, the 1968 Firebird featured a driver-focused cockpit designed for comfort and performance. The dashboard layout was straightforward, with large, easy-to-read gauges housed in a wood grain panel, adding a touch of elegance. The centre console, when equipped, 
provided additional storage and housed the shifter for models with floor-mounted transmissions. The steering wheel was sportily designed, often featuring a three-spoke layout with a chrome horn ring that conveyed a sense of control and precision. Seating in the Firebird was designed to accommodate both comfort and support during spirited driving. The standard bucket seats were upholstered in high-quality vinyl and available in various colours to match the interior theme. Optional upgrades included custom trim with unique patterns and materials, offering a more luxurious feel. The rear seat provided adequate space for passengers, though the focus was clearly on the front seat occupants, as the Firebird's design was not only about aesthetics but also about enhancing the driving experience. So let's have a look at the engine and performance of this beast. The 1968 Pontiac Firebird was celebrated for its diverse range of engine options, catering to various performance needs and driving preferences. From the economical inline-six to the high-powered V8s, Pontiac ensured that the Firebird could appeal to a broad spectrum of buyers looking for efficiency and raw power. The base engine for the 1968 Firebird was a 250 cubic inch inline-six, producing 175 horsepower and 240 pound-foot of torque. This engine, known as the Firebird OHC, provided a good balance of performance and fuel efficiency, making it a suitable choice for everyday driving. For those seeking more power, the Firebird Sprint offered a four-barrel version of the same engine, boosting the output to 230 horsepower and 255 pound-foot of torque. For enthusiasts desiring V8 performance, the Firebird did not disappoint. The Firebird 350 came with a 350 cubic inch V8 engine delivering 255 horsepower and 355 pound-foot of torque in its two-barrel configuration. An upgraded four-barrel version known as the Firebird 350 HO pushed the power up to an impressive 325 horsepower and 380 pound-foot of torque providing thrilling acceleration and performance. At the top of the engine range were the 400 cubic inch V8 options, which were the true powerhouses of the Firebird lineup. The standard 400 engine produced 330 horsepower and 430 pound foot of torque, while the 400 HO variant increased the output slightly to 335 horsepower. For those seeking even more performance, the Ram Air package included a recalibrated carburetor and other enhancements, boosting the power to 345 horsepower. Transmission options for the 1968 Firebird included the standard manual transmission, which was a three speed, but many buyers opted for the four speed manual for better performance and control. The four speed manual transmission provided precise shifts and was a favourite among performance enthusiasts. Performance metrics for the 1968 Firebird varied depending on the engine and transmission combination. The Firebird equipped with the 400 HO engine and 4-speed manual transmission could accelerate from 0 to 60 mile per hour in approximately 7.6 seconds and complete the quarter mile in around 15.4 seconds at 93 mile per hour. These performance figures were impressive for the time and highlighted the Firebird's capabilities as a muscle car. The top speed of the Firebird varied by engine, but was generally in the range of 120 to 130 mile per hour for the high performance V8 models. The combination of powerful engines and aerodynamic design allowed the Firebird to achieve these high speeds, making it a formidable competitor in the muscle car segment. Fuel efficiency, while not the primary concern for muscle car buyers, was respectable for the era. The inline six engines offered better fuel economy making them more practical for everyday use. The V8 engines, particularly the high performance variants, consumed more fuel but provided the exhilarating performance that muscle car enthusiasts craved. The 1968 Pontiac Firebird's suspension and handling systems were meticulously designed to provide a balanced combination of comfort and performance. The Firebird's front suspension system featured an independent setup with coil springs, 
upper and lower control arms and tubular shock absorbers. This configuration allowed for precise handling and a smooth ride, as the independent front suspension could better absorb road imperfections and maintain tyre contact with the pavement. The rear suspension was upgraded from a single leaf spring to a multi-leaf spring setup, which, while along with staggered shock absorbers, significantly improved the car's handling characteristics and ride quality. The multi-leaf springs provided better load distribution and reduced wheel hop during hard acceleration, contributing to the Firebird's overall stability and control. The steering system of the 1968 Firebird was designed to offer responsive and accurate handling. The standard steering setup was a recirculating ball system, which balanced effort and feedback well. For those seeking a more performance-oriented feel, a quick ratio steering box was available as an option. This upgrade reduced the number of turns lock to lock, allowing for more precise and agile handling, particularly in tight corners and during spirited driving. The addition of power steering, available as an option, further enhanced the driving experience by reducing steering effort making the Firebird easier to manoeuvre at low speeds and in parking situations. Braking performance was another critical aspect of the Firebird's handling capabilities. The standard braking system included drum brakes at all four corners, which provided adequate stopping power for most driving conditions. However, for enhanced performance and safety, Pontiac offered front disc brakes as an option. The disc brakes provided superior stopping power and better heat dissipation reducing the risk of brake fade during prolonged or aggressive driving. The combination of disc brakes and the upgraded suspension system ensured that the Firebird could handle high-speed driving and emergency stops with confidence. The car's balanced weight distribution and low centre of gravity contributed to its stable and predictable handling, whether navigating city streets or tackling winding roads. The Firebird chassis was designed to minimise body roll, allowing for precise cornering and improved driver confidence. The ride quality was a testament to Pontiac's engineering, offering a comfortable experience without sacrificing the car's sporty nature. The Firebird's performance tyres also played a crucial role in its handling capabilities. The standard tyres were bias ply but many buyers opted for the available wide oval radial tyres, which provided better grip and handling characteristics. The radial tyres offered improved traction, particularly in high-speed cornering and braking, enhancing the overall driving experience. The 1968 Pontiac Firebird made a significant impact on the market upon its release, earning praise from consumers. It saw a 29.74% rise in production, with 107,112 units produced, including 90,152 hardtops and 16,960 convertibles. This surge in popularity demonstrated the car's broad appeal and its ability to attract a diverse range of buyers, from everyday drivers to performance enthusiasts. The various engine options and customizable features allowed consumers to tailor the Firebird to their specific needs and preferences, further enhancing its market success. Culturally, the 1968 Pontiac Firebird left a lasting legacy, becoming an icon of the muscle car era. Its appearances in films such as Smokey and the Bandit and television series like The Rockford Files, the 1968 Pontiac Firebird cemented its status as a symbol of American automotive performance and style. The Firebird's cultural impact extended to the music industry as well, with numerous songs and album covers celebrating the car's iconic status. This widespread recognition and admiration ensured that the Firebird remained a beloved and sought-after classic, even decades after its initial release. The current market value and trends for the 1968 Firebird reflect its status as a prized collector's item. According to Hemmings.com, the value of a 1968 Firebird can vary significantly based on its condition, engine and options. Models in good condition can command prices upwards of $20,000, 
while those in excellent condition can sell for around $94,000. Auction results and notable sales further illustrate the strong demand for the 1968 Firebird. High profile auctions frequently feature these models, with some rare and well preserved examples achieving impressive sale prices. For instance, a 1968 Firebird 400 with the Ram Air 2 package can sell for over $70,000, reflecting the premium that collectors place on originality, condition, and performance options. When compared to other classic cars of the era, the 1968 Firebird holds its own in terms of collectability and market value. While it may not reach the astronomical prices of some rarer muscle cars like the Shelby GT500 or Chevrolet Corvette L88, it remains a highly desirable and attainable classic. Its combination of performance, design and cultural significance ensures that it continues to be a favourite among enthusiasts. So, what do you think about the 1968 Pontiac Firebird? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into automotive history, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more classic car reviews. Until next time, thanks for watching.